not knowing that the kingdom of God is supposed to change the way that you think. It's supposed to change the way that you talk. So that when you try to go to the club and when you do go to the club, now you feel guilty. You're uncomfortable. Because you're saying, Lord, help me, Jesus. I don't even feel like I belong. Then you try to drink something and then you're feeling convicted because you're saying, heck, I'm a son. Do a son I'm supposed to be doing this. All right. <laughs> then you're sitting up there doing all this stuff. <laughs> Am I acting like a saved woman? <laughs> no. I'm good. Let me sit down. So that's your indication. You don't belong there no more. He said, because I'm trying to show you what one you going to be, a bastard or a son. All right. Say it now, bastard. He said, because you don't got, if you don't got so comfortable, you don't feel no conviction. You cussing somebody out, you don't feel no conviction. You still a bastard. All right. With your church going to sell. Right. Reading the Bible, going to Bible study. I'll be shady. Say, I go to Bible study and still cussing folks out. Yeah, now I understand if a little slip out. <laughs> but don't have too many slips out. <laughs> Cause you know I ain't, I ain't there yet. You've been saying that two years. Stop lying. <laughs> it don't take two years to stop cussing. Amen. <laughs> then when the pastor asks you, baby, what you doing to stop? To stop cussing. See, won't hear nothing. Because you ain't trying. All right. You still want to be a bastard. And that's where he's showing you. You got to change what you're doing. And God's saying you got to stop trying to make other people change because you change. All right. You the one that gave the Lord your hand. You the one that told the Lord I'm ready to come out of darkness into light. You the one that got to stop being around the same people who you used to hang around with. Now, now you got to find some people who doing stuff that you don't do. So if I know I don't know the word, I'm going to be around a sister who know the word. Amen. Because you know what they're going to do. They're going to convict the heck out of me. Everything she talking about, she talking about the scriptures. It's going to make me study. Amen. Because I'm going to understand I can't be hanging around the women of God that ain't got nothing to talk about. Oh, girl, God showed me this and this and this from Bible study. And you said, what are they talking about? The Greek and the Hebrew? What is that? So you don't know what they talking about. Because you still got a word of mindset. Now you got to come in and you got to conform Performing, let him change you. So now you got to put in some effort. Say you got the work. I got the work. Stop thinking church is easy. Church is not special aid. All right now. Say it, Pastor. You think just because you came in here, you're going to automatically be anointed. You, you, you lie to yourself. Say it, Pastor. This is when you got to do your part. You got to sit down and learn how to read that Bible, study, get out your dictionary, get out your concordance, and you got to begin to do your part. That's right. It ain't going to just come to you, just to be coming to you. Amen. Let's turn to Matthew 3. So, God is saying we're walking into sonship. Say sonship. sonship. This is where God was calling when he was talking to John the Baptist. You got to understand that John the Baptist, before Jesus even came, you got to understand that they were cousins. and they were, John the Baptist was a couple months older than Jesus. And so the text finds us where John the Baptist, where he was ministering, he was preaching. So when you look at Matthew 3 and verse 1, say, in, in those days, John the Baptist came preaching in the wilderness of Judea. And saying, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. I want to stop right there. When he said repent, repent doesn't, not, doesn't just mean I'm sorry. Repent means if I'm going this way. And I tell God I repent from lying. That means now I'm turning it to a whole nother direction. Now I'm going this way. Because when you repent, that means I'm going to change the way I think about the situation. Hear me. It ain't 
said that God, I just got out of his bed, I repent. Don't you repent when you know you're going to go get back in there. Don't you say repent because when you say I'm repenting, you tell him I'm going to change my mind. When I get out of bed this time, I ain't going back. I'm going to a different direction. So that means after I repent, now I'm going to think differently. Hear me? I'm going to think differently. So now when I say I'm going to stop lying, Lord, I repent. That means I'm going to think differently now when it comes to lying. I ain't going to lie no more. I'm going to make an effort that this is what I'm going to do. So John the Baptist was saying, repent. Change the way you think. Change the way that you do things. For the kingdom of heaven. I want to break down that word kingdom. You got to understand, we keep saying the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God. You got to understand, in order for there to be a kingdom, there has to be a king. Right? right. So, the word king is basilis. And the word kingdom is basilia. So, when you say, I'm in the kingdom of God... You saying you display the characteristics of the king. Y'all hear me? So when I'm going around mommy and complaining, this mess, I ain't got time for church today. I just ain't feeling it. You got to ask yourself what characteristics 